Did you hear about the show? Like the climax that they left up at? Like the total. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I've been singing it. Like I, I, I was singing the whole thing like in my brain all day today. I think we're talking about two different things. Mine's on Disney Plus. Where's yours? Oh, mine's on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, it was. It's season one, episode two of the iFest. Hey everybody, welcome back to E-Tree 3D. Where we make mistakes so you don't have to. And I'm Mike. And I'm Sierra. And today, we want you to subscribe, like, share, notification bell. Yes. And? We want you to do it I faster. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're doing that, Head on over to our Patreon account because we are getting close to a giveaway. Now, granted, I'm still trying to look through lottery laws and all that stuff. So all you uh, YouTube lawyers out there, leave me a comment below on how I can do this legally without going to jail for trying to be a good person. Today, we're going to talk about what you've all been waiting for. Finally. You've asked about it on YouTube, you've asked about it on Facebook, and we're going to give you just a small taste of it because we gotta get this video done so we can get our other prints done to see if they're really as fast as we hope. Or as I hope. So we're just gonna give you what our testing prints were along with our final thoughts about the iFast. Of the last two days we've had it. Yep. Yeah. So we'll start off. Uh, because of that horrible cliffhanger you were left with. Here it is. Test print. Same. Hasn't changed. No supports in ours. Um, however, when it said to level the bed, all I did was a fast level. I didn't go through the whole thing. So just understand that none of these have been calibrated. We literally did the fast level, printed this, and... Then we moved on to the next thing, had some issues I'll talk about, and then I went through a level, but I have not tried to dial in anything. I've just gone standard temps. Yes. So, not like I'm upset. It's just a rectangle with a cylinder on top of it. Uh, there is some burn marks, so that's, uh, I think it's burn marks. I don't know what it is, but that's how we knew there was something wrong with the bed. So then we moved on to, you know what, let's put the IFAST to the Benchy test. With our collection of Benchy slowly growing, we printed one more just to see how consistent it would print, and it's one of the better benchies we've printed. So it it is a really good benchy. Um, this has had no cleanup on it. However, we do get a lot of um, warping, Ripping? ghosting, uh, right up here on the front hall. Hall is that a hole? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't. I thought yeah, whatever the tip of the benchy is. So we get a little bit of it there again. This right here, we had issues with this, um, and I haven't been able to replicate it yet. Next, we did the dual calibration. So we started off with our very first one, and we saw that it didn't fit properly, the blue and the orange. So we calibrated it to move it to the one our side. left, oh, your yeah. right, I think. I don't remember. To one side more, and then did its second print, did more adjusting to finally have a good print where it's centered right down the middle. As close as centered as we could get it, uh, the adjustments are by 0 0.05 millimeters. Um, so too much and it's gonna move it one way. So as of right now, we're happy with it. I'm not gonna complain. But once that happened, I said, you know what? We did this in the past, do you remember this? If you don't, you can click that right there and it'll take you to this video. However, this right here was printed on one machine using two different filaments at two different times being printed. So this is super glued onto this. <laughs> and so we printed this one. And this right here is your priming tower. 
So it normally is in the front left corner, which is uh, yeah, front left corner closest to me. Yeah, that's uh, where it was on this one. And I didn't adjust supports or nothing. I just straight up printed. These supports, they stick to them really well. So bad that his arms broke. It's about to fall off. Um, but it really blended the two together and it, it held it together. Uh, so much so that the supports themselves are still stuck to it. And as you can see, the difference between the two, you can see a gap between the orange and blue. And then this one, there is no gap. Oh, on the, on the other one. Yeah, yeah, on this one you can see a and gap. And you can see that in this picture that's coming right here. <laughs> this is what it looks like when it was printed. We left it on the bed. Uh, the reason we left it on the bed is because um, we had it too close again. And these have been a pain. I promise I'm probably going to break them. It's okay. I don't want to break them. It seems that the prints are really... They're able to attach to the building plate really well. No glue. Yeah, we don't use, we haven't used glue on this printer at all yet. Oh. Don't hurt the poor guy. I'm trying not to. The scraper works really well if you can't see either, too. There we go. This bed is super sticky, like impressively. Um, and also my, <sighs> nozzle was just a little bit close to the bed everything's flattened out right there which also increases the the adhesion there we go that's the proper term the adhesion so absolutely love the new build plates um a little bit of a hassle but like them and like i said i didn't adjust any of these so all these supports are just gonna stay on it and then next we're gonna go to benchies with two different colors this was all one print orange and blue this, we had this one the same setup as the lizard. So corner, middle. Just like this. <laughs> but it was, it was a little messy here and there. But as a first print with dual, I think it turned out pretty well. It's a little choppy right, with so, the two colors. So you want to explain why it's like that? Okay, so I will explain it for you because she was probably sleeping when I did all this. So, then she was like this, right? So it comes over, which, oh, the nozzles, when they hit the walls, they adjust height so they don't bump into each other. It's a really cool thing. I think I got a video of it. I'll show it to you. Anyways, it comes over here. It, it hits this side. Number one goes down. Number one comes over here, starts priming. It's at 200, 220, whatever degrees you're running. And then as it moves from here to here, it starts oozing. And so that's where we get some of these little artifacts on here of it, of the oozing of it catching it as it starts its print. Mm -hmm. So then I said, you know what? I know how to fix that. Put it closer. So I set this one up just like this. It's closer. Doesn't have to travel far, not a whole lot of oozing gonna happen. However, I hid the priming tower behind the thing. So when it came over here to get nozzle one in position, it came back this way and then it hit Benchy in the front and that's why we have all the artifacts on this one. So I learned a valuable lesson. Don't hide it, keep it close, but offset it on the Y axis and the Z axis a little bit so it can go from side to side to hit uh, extruder one and extruder two, and then come right back down and do that. Causes less artifacts to show up on the benchy. We think so. So that right there is the priming tower. Whenever you do the dual prints, you'll see that on there. It's on the cheaty print. It's really easy. Um, I'll probably give you a quick walkthrough of how I've done it. Uh, I did not create this, someone else did, and that link is below. Same with Bruni, which is his name? B-R-U-N-I, Bruni. I don't know why I know that name, but anyways, frozen. I'll put those, uh, you kind of seem clueless. Frozen? Yeah, it's from Frozen 2. Who's Bruni? Oh yeah, the little lizard! Yeah! You're not as dumb as I think you are. Fire lizard? Yup. 
<laughs> so then we went with this bad boy. Uh, we have no idea what this looks like under here. This is the ooze shield. Uh, it's something that you activate and basically it just creates a barrier around there and rubs the nozzles on this and uh, then prints it. It looks so cool. Yeah, it's like a super giant fat benchy. <laughs> it's really awesome. He's so, hidden in the gym. <laughs> we have no idea what's under here. Um, I hope it looks good because if so, this is awesome. If not, then I just wasted a little bit more filament. Which, not a whole lot. Not gonna lie to you. Alright, so... This dude right here, he weighed a total of 13 grams, I want to say. This right here was uh, 4 grams. And then his supports was 3. So he actually only turned out to be about 6 grams total. Um, so it's not actually that much. But, this is so cool. Oh, it came off all in one. Perfect. Yeah, there goes my benchy. It comes, look, I pulled it off. Great. It the boat to... stuck. What is this? The Suez Canal? <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, that's a really good print. We have a little bit of oozing right at the back window but besides that that's how's he look compared to this it's smoother what's smoother you got to tell them like what's <laughs> difference because i can look at it later i can say and be like oh my precious okay they can't <laughs> the windows are smoother so it's not as jagged from their ooze tower compared to the ooze shield prime tower prime tower okay wow um same thing for the back window it's much more smoother still has a few articles on it we're gonna learn these words one day artifacts artifacts <laughs> articles oozing towers <laughs> we're, we're getting there she's not so eye fast <laughs> but the words on the bottom look fantastic yeah yeah came out really well so we still have a little bit of the ripples on the front. Um, but again, this thing has not been dialed in. We have not adjusted any settings. Just said, here, PLA, print, two colors, go. Not to mention one see-through and glows and all this stuff. So I am not upset at all. And plus, I mean, this literally... Smooth. Done. Yeah, like seriously, like it's not anything crazy. There we go. Look at that. Smooth Benchy. I feel like Bob Ross now. Like, just Happy you know, little Benchies. Happy little Benchies. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross the, out of that. So, I'm actually really impressed with that. Um, he's going on my wall of things that are worthless to keep printing, but my daughter wants them, so I have them. Your loving daughter. Oh, I left that out? Yes. My bad. Say it one more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs>